that she didn't shut you up with. Oh, no. That's not necessary or even a good idea, but thank you. What no? Can she change the book club? I guess he's the only other good friend you have. Uh, it's possible, but that doesn't mean that he's not the right guy for you. I mean, you, you probably even know him. You think all gay people in Chicago know each other? No. The, what the point is, is that Andy is a great guy, and I think you two would hit it off. Huh? No, yeah, what's up on me, remember? Oh, okay. There you go. <clears throat> Grab the ones up. Truck and engine, found two old units in storage. That's funny, I only need six. How's the class? Couple promising up and covers. Then there's Jacob Mercer, who gives it his all, but scares the hell out of me to see him in a CFD uniform. Drop the hammer. You think? Still pretty early. This is no job for one of these. Me and Darden went through the academy with a guy named Nazuka. It was one red flag after another with him, but somehow he made the cut. Then, in his first year riding engine, he drops his line, bails out on his team, and puts one of them in the hospital. You either have the firefighting gene or you don't. What's your take? My take? Uh, well, uh, my Girls on Fire isn't exactly the academy, but in my experience, there's a lot of raw talent out there. And with encouragement, a little support, you'd be surprised how some people can rise to the occasion. Jason Point. Hey, Kylie. What's up? Uh, Lieutenant Severide, Chief asked if you could join him in his office. Uh, Severide, come on in. We need an old friend of mine, Chief Gary Mercer. Billy Severide, I've heard a lot about you from Bowden and from my son. Jacob? That's right. Mercer and I, we served together in Engine 93. Saved me from more scrapes than I care to remember. <laughs> More of the bar brawl variety than anything else. Yeah, don't you listen to him. Anyway, Kelly, I just wanted to meet the man who shaped my son's future. I appreciate you keeping an eye on him. He's a great kid. He's wanted to be a firefighter his whole life. He's a hard worker. Always first to volunteer for a, a drill. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna finish that up. Hey, come on, get out of here. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. Chief. Squat table. Who's it from? No idea. It's just sitting there. Maybe it's something from the start paper work. Hmm. What? That fall wasn't an accident. some symptoms. When taken with an antidepressant, Rexaltu has proven to reduce depression symptoms an extra 60 
2% compared to the antidepressant alone. So you can stay on your current treatment and help build on your progress. Rexulti can cause serious side effects. Elderly dementia patients have increased risk of death or stroke. Antidepressants may increase suicidal thoughts and worsen depression in those under 25. Call your doctor about fever, stiff muscles, and confusion, which could be life-threatening, or uncontrollable muscle movements, which may be permanent. Increased cholesterol, weight gain, high blood sugar, decreased white blood cells, unusual urges, dizziness on standing, seizures, trouble swallowing may occur. When depression sets you back, keep moving forward. Make an appointment to talk to your doctor about adding Rex Salty to your antidepressant. Good job, Mr. Caps, come back. All right. referring to Ronnie at the deli store owner, right? I guess so, but why is my name on the envelope? Maybe we should stop by Matt and talk to Ronnie. He's the only one who can tell us exactly what happened. Damn. One sec. Hey, Bello, we have to run out, but I think that needs to go in the oven. Yeah, I'm in the middle of something. This isn't that cold one. As soon as the oven reaches 500 degrees, put the bread in, turn it down to 450, and bake for 20 minutes. And don't forget to turn it halfway through so it heats evenly. Okay? Yeah, sure. She looks in the last minute. Whoa! There's a wrench in the oven. Literally? Yeah. That's why. If the beds seem uncomfortable, I wouldn't worry. You won't get much sleep. Not on shift. No one was snoring and the alarm bells going off all night. A lot of firefighters sleep with their boots on at night to save time. All right, then. You guys learn anything? Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck to you all. Listen to this man. He knows what he's talking about. Okay, one quick drill before you go. Over there, we have some thermal imaging cameras. Somewhere in this firehouse, we've hidden a pipe wrench that's been heated up to a couple hundred degrees. First one to find it gets to sit out next time we hump high-rise packs up the stairs. All right, let's go. Move it. 